Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play on Stardew Valley. I'm here once again being joined by my puppy, who is one years old now, by the way. Alex has had her first birthday, and as you can see, she is very, very excited about being one years old. But today, sadly, Alex is not about Alex. Uh, today is all about Stardew Valley, and I've done a little bit of work between the last episode and the, the and this episode, the one I'm recording right now. And uh, I've done a lot of listening to all of you who have been telling me loads of amazing tips and I'm gonna put some of them into practice. And oh, it's raining! The only time I am excited that it's raining, um, yeah, inside of Stardew Valley, because it means I don't need to, to go and water all of my plants. Hello, Alex. <laughs> Do you, are you gonna play? I wonder what she would do if she tried to play over her nose. Just lick the controller. I need to touch this. Right then, so something that happened while kind of organising all of my crops and stuff is uh, a bird came and it started stealing some of my crops. You can see that we have some missing, which is really bad because seeds are really expensive and I don't have much money and I'm trying to, to save up uh, in order to, to be able to, to get this backpack. So it's a big deal. But I have quests and how do I bring them up? Here we go. I got my journal. And there's basically missions that I, I have to, to do. And then I think I get like a big reward for it. So introductions, I need to greet everyone. I need to meet everyone. I've met uh, just under half of the, the people so far. Um, I need to build a coop. Uh, Robin the local carpenter lives north of the town. In exchange uh, for raw materials and money, she'll construct new buildings on your farm. Oh, that's good. Uh, you'll need to build her a, a coop or barn so you can raise animals. Oh, you need her to build a, a coop or, or, or barn. Uh, and then reach farming level one uh, and craft a scarecrow. I think I am already at farming level one. So let's see, can, can I make a, a, a scarecrow? I can! Oh, this is new. Uh, I need wood, coal, and fiber. Do I have coal? I think I, I think I might have coal. Do I have coal? Oh, there we go. Here's coal down here. Uh, I need fiber, and then I need wood as well. So I believe I have everything I need to, to make a scarecrow. Uh, prevents crows from attacking your crops. Uh, has a limited radius of about eight tiles. Okay, so it's not... It's not like you just put it in your farm and that's going to scare them off. It really is pretty rubbish range if, I, <laughs> if I'm honest about it. Where should I plop it down then? Um, maybe I should have like two. Maybe I should have like one here. Oh, I didn't really quite mean to put it there. Oh, and it does block my way as well. Uh, I haven't encountered any crows yet. Hmm, <laughs> was that me like speaking to the, the scarecrow? Uh, where should I put it then? Because... I don't know if that's a good place to, to have it, really. I think I need, like, a couple of them, like, on either side. I'll, I'll leave it there for now. Like, I think I've completed that thing there. And there we go. Now I get 100 gold for it. And as you gain experience, you'll discover new crafting recipes, blah, 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 blah. There we go. I was able to, to get 100 gold. So it looks like building a coop is going to be a, a great thing for, for me to be able to, to do today, then. I might go and start some, some things growing first, though. I don't know if I should go and buy some seeds. The thing is, I keep trying to save up money, but then you need to spend money to make money. That's what they say, don't they? <laughs> I sound like a crazy, like, businessman from, like, a film. Like, come on, we need to buy low, sell high. Go, go, go. But I do. I need to oh actually flowers sorry I got distracted then but apparently you can like do I use um do I use the hoe oh no I can just pick them up apparently picking up flowers is good I think I can just sell the flowers and oh I can get on the boss if I want to there's so many things that I can do like and it's kind of a little bit overwhelming all at once also a lot of people told me don't cut down the grass yet so I've listened to that. Don't join the, the whole Moja Corp. I've listened to, to that uh, as well. Uh, but let's, uh, let's see what's going on on the calendar because it's like egg day or something coming up soon. Oh, what's this? Help wanted. I need seaweed if it's not too inconvenient. 60 gold on delivery. Oh, I've, I've probably had some seaweed, but I probably just like threw it away. Oh, let's go. Let's go get some seaweed. Oh, the shop's closed on Wednesdays anyway. So I guess that solved the, the whole situation. But there we go. That's going to be an easy... Um, uh, an easy 60 gold just for getting some seaweed. I can't remember if I fish it up or if I just find it kind of lying around on the, the beach. So let's just go and have a look around. Is there any just like seaweed on the floor around here? I don't think there is. I think I might need to, to do some fishing in order to, to get it. So yeah, let's go on to the, um, 
onto the, the dock thingy here. And let's go and do a little bit of, a, of fishing and see if I can uh, fish up some seaweed. Like normally, normally like I'm after like the, the fish, but then like end up accidentally getting all of the, the rubbish stuff. And now I'm actually kind of after some of the, the rubbish stuff to try and get some of the, the seaweed. And then I'll go and speak to, to Robin and see if she can do a, a coop because that means I can start getting some animals. And actually, if it is egg day coming up soon on the, the calendar, having some chickens ready for whatever egg day is probably isn't going to be that bad of an idea, is it? So so that's going to be probably one of the, the next important goals that I want to, to do. And then I also want to go and speak to some of the, the dancing apples, the the, the, lumen, the luminos, lumen, luminoses, whatever those those things are called. I'm going to call them dancing apples for forever. <laughs> a lot of people are telling me off in the comments saying, no, they're not dancing apples. They're whatever their actual name is. But they basically are dancing apples, aren't they? All right, we've got a bit of a tricky fish. I should probably I should probably concentrate a bit more. Oh, I nearly lost it. I nearly lost it. I just saved it. I want to get this one. No, 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 no. I think like I think I tap too much, but where like I should like hold it and then let go, maybe to to do it a little bit smoother might be a, a good way to to do it. So let me try this again and let's see if I can get one. The thing is, I'm not even really after fish. I'm just after after seaweed. Like I wonder if like if you put the the rod further out in the water, if that means you're gonna have a better chance to get good fish. Cause there's like a whole power rating, like when you flick it out. I wonder if I do like rubbish little weak ones, if I'm gonna end up getting seaweed. And oh, there's a chest, there's a chest. I want the chest, go on fish, go higher, go higher. Oh, that's it, that's it, let me get the chest. Okay, I, I, I might just go and try and get the chest like quick and then go back and get the fish. There we go, I got the chest at least. Now let's see if we can catch this fish. This one seems much easier than the, the last one. That was risky though, that was risky. There better be some good treasure. If anything, I'd be happy to, to get just some seaweed in the chest. But this, this fish is, uh, is being good and staying at the bottom. It's always easier when they kind of just stay at the bottom and you just don't need to press anything and you can get it. There we go. I got a one inch sardine, but I also got some coal. Okay, that's that's handy if I need to make more scarecrows. I guess the coal is probably like, is that like the eyes of the scarecrow or the nose or something? I didn't really think at first how weird it was to, <laughs> to, to use coal to make a, a scarecrow, but... I guess that's just the, the way it goes. Right, let's just do a few more and see if we do get the, the seaweed. If not, like, oh, oh, there we go. I got it. Perfect. Sorted. Let's go and deliver that to, to Willy and go and complete that goal. I will then look at the calendar again and then go to, to where Robin's house in and see if she can make a, a coup. The thing is, she's going to charge me loads of money for it, isn't she? That's the thing. That's the thing that I don't have money. I don't know... I don't know if I'm going to even be able to get any of this stuff because backpack is still priority number one because it's so annoying not having room to, to get all of these these things. But first I need to track down where Willie is. He's got he's got a house around here. Is this his house here? Maybe? I know it's one of these uh, around here. Let's see if this is his house. Oh, here we go. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Ah, there's nothing like a strong cup of tea in the morning. Now that is a man talking some real sense. <laughs> I have you seaweed! Oh, is that seaweed I requested? I really appreciate it. Here's a little something for your trouble. There we go, 60 gold, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Right then, let's go and look at the, um, at the, the old calendar then, and let's see if there's anything else coming up. And then let's go and at least speak to, to Robin and kind of work out what the, the deal is going to, to be uh, for all of these different coops. I'm starting to, to learn my way around the, the town a little bit better. So, oh, it's Vincent's birthday tomorrow, I believe. Is it the 9th today? Oh no, it's, the, oh, it's Vincent's birthday today. Who's Vincent? I don't know why I need to get him a present. I don't know who he is, but I need to get him a present. <laughs> I haven't introduced myself to all of the, the people yet. Oh dear, let's, let's maybe not worry about Vincent's birthday. I'm obviously not close friends of him then. Right, where's where's old Robin's house then? Is it up here? Oh, that's the Adventurer's Guild. There's something mysterious over there I need to go and explore. There's all question marks up here. These are all just places I haven't been to. Oh, here's the carpenter shop. Uh, so I need to go like up and like east a little bit, I guess. It should be like literally like right here. Is that it? No, that's the uh, the community center. We will go back there and and chat to some more of the the talking apples. Like I've had some, I've become one with the forest or whatever it is now. So I should be able to to understand a little bit better what's going on with them. But I believe this should be where Robin lives. And here is Robin herself. What can I do for you today? Shop, upgrade, construct, farm buildings. Four thousand. Four thousand. To be fair, if you consider a backpack is two thousand. Either this is very cheap or the backpack is overpriced. I think the backpack's overpriced and I need to give the wooden stone for it as well. It's not like, you know, I'm paying for her to get that. So 
I really need that coop. I really need it. What else? We can get a barn. We can get a well. We can get a silo to store all of our seed and stuff. We can get a meal, a shed, a stable, a slime hutch. I'm glad I went to, to have the, the big farm because I want to get all of this stuff. But it's all very expensive apart from the silo. The silo isn't that much, but I need like copper bars and clay and stuff. And I don't have any of that stuff. So I won't be getting any of that. I can upgrade my house for 10,000. Let's just... I, I, I can see that I am out of my depth uh, when I've arrived here. But let's go and chat to some of these people. Seems I do need to meet them all. This is Maru. When it rains, I have a good excuse to work on my gadgets all day. Very good. That's tick off. Someone met someone who likes their gadgets. Looks like there's a scientist here. Demetrius. You're probably growing a lot of interesting plants on your farm, huh? I mean, beans and... <laughs> <laughs> and parsnips and I don't know, <laughs> not not the most interesting things in the, the world. Right, looks like there's not really anything else here. Is this like an upstairs or a downstairs here? I think I might have just gone downstairs. Oh, is this like Robin's house? Oh, oh I need to be better friends with Sebastian's to enter his bedroom. Oh, I want to go in his, his bedroom, looks cool. Oh, this was this about, this isn't Sebastian, is it? No, who's Sebastian? I don't even know who Sebastian is. <laughs> right, let's go into and leave here though. Obviously, I am well out of my depth for, for upgrading any of this stuff. I'd really love to. So what else is there? So, oh, this is done. I got, I, I didn't get my reward. Lucky I, I was able to, to see that and get my, my reward. So introductions, I still need to meet a bunch more people and then build a coop. So they're, they're the only like official goals that I have. I guess everything else is up to me. So let's go to the mines. So apparently that's a great way to make money. So I want to go to the Adventurers Guild first. I think I need to join that. So actually I should have carried on going up this way by the, the looks of things and then going across here. It'd be great to get like fertilizer or something, something to speed along the growing process. And oh, is this just, is this just like, oh, what is that? I got a leak, I got a leak. <laughs> not surprised with all of this rain. <laughs> just lie there, I just pick it up with a leak. And there's not one of these little statues down there. I wonder if that has something to do with the Luminos thingies, the dancing apple guys. Uh, oh, there's a tent up here. Is this, oh, is this the mine? Oh, this looks like maybe the mine here. Oh, look, I can gather up all of these. Oh, let's sell these. And I, I, or maybe eat them if I get hungry as well. Let's go and gather up all of these up. There's the mine. Is it going to allow me to go in the mine now? Oh, I can. There's someone in here, though. I don't know if it's just going to let me go straight. I mean, I, I don't even have... Actually, I do have a pickaxe, don't I? Alex, really? Really? You're going to start squeaking that now? <laughs> I've met Marlon. Hmm. Hello, Marlon. Looks more like a pirate than a miner, doesn't it? <laughs> I was just peering down into this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Sounds like he's having a, a fun <laughs> afternoon. Still, there's probably good ore down there, but a dark place undisturbed for so long. I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Oh yeah, there's baddies, isn't there? I forgot there's baddies in this game. Here, take this, you might need it. I got a sword! I didn't know I was going to get a sword. I guess I'll have to deal with the baddie somehow. A rusty sword. Sounds like a, a quality tool I've just uh, was able to, to get there. My name's Marlon, by the way. I run the Adventurers Guild right outside. I'll keep my eye on you. Prove yourself and I might think about making you a member. Ah, I think I might be able to go mining. Can I go in the minecart? Oh, it's out of order. That's out of order. Then what's this little place for Alex? I'm going to have to steal it from you. Alex, drop it. Leave it. No, it's too squeaky. It's just too squeaky, Alex. I'm sorry. Well, I think there might be an elevator. Then there's weird stuff here. Can I like, can I mine this? Uh, your pickaxe isn't strong enough. Okay, so I'm obviously going to be able to go through there later. I can just go straight in the mine. Oh, can I just start mining all this stuff up? I can. Oh, okay. It was just stone, I guess. Oh, this doing. So this is like great. And, and rubbish at the same- Alex, leave it! No, no, no I'm gonna have to take it. I'm gonna have to- no, give it here! Give it here! Give it here. I'm sorry, it's too squeaky, and people want to hear my really delightful and insightful commentary, and the squeaking isn't allowing them to do that. So this is good and bad, because it's great, because I can go into the mine, and I think that's gonna be a great way to make money. It's bad, though, because I still don't have the backpack, and so I can't even gather anything up, because my pockets are full already, so I'm gonna go run home, I'm gonna dump all of this stuff off and then I'll go back to the mine. Now I'm carrying a sword as well. That's like another thing that, <laughs> another thing taking up a space. I might drop off like my watering can and stuff. Seems as it's raining anyway, I'm not gonna need it too much. And then I'm gonna go back to the, the mine and do some proper mining.
So, at a very convenient time, I had a new... Oh, I just took a picture. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, yeah, I got a new thingy. Explore the mine. Reach level five in the mine. There's an old mine shaft in the mountains off of the town. Uh, there could be valuable materials inside, but Marlon hinted that it might be dangerous. And by might be dangerous, I think they mean will be dangerous. <laughs> and oh, has this all just changed? I think, I think stuff might have refilled. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm going mad. But anyway, let's go and gather some of this stuff. Oh, did I get it? Oh, that's just stone. Was this all just stone? Oh, I thought this was like a bunch of ores and so I think these are just like different colour stones. I mean, stone is useful. Stone is a, a useful material. I just thought this was all like copper and oh! I found a ladder! I found a little hidden ladder to keep going down and oh! Okay, we got baddies, we got googlies, we looks like we got a little slime. And oh, is it gonna hurt me? Oh yeah, I, I have health. I didn't even remember that I had health. It looks like health only matters when you're in the, the mine because it's not even like on the screen otherwise. Let's just keep whacking this thing. I probably shouldn't have uh, have got rid of all of my uh, my food because my energy is gonna go rocketing down. <laughs> now that I'm down in this mine and like smashing all of this uh, this stuff up. Should be like really useful for you know to get this stuff. And oh, I think that I think that might be like an ore or something there. No, oh, oh, the slime's after me, the slime's after me. This sword is like the worst thing in the world. It does like three damage, which I bet is nothing by the amount of times. Like these are like little tiny slimes. Like these should be nothing. I should be just slicing through all of these guys, no problem. And they're actually doing a decent amount of damage against me. I'm gathering something from though. Is this, um, it looks kind of like the, the same as the, the sap, but I guess it's like slime sap. <laughs> right, let's just spam. Let's just go crazy. Is this the strategy? This might be a good time to give tips for, for combat. I can't seem to like hold it or charge up or anything, so spamming the uh, the attack just seems to be the, the way to go about things for, for now. Also, how do I get my food up? Does it gradually, not my food up, my health up? Do I have to eat food? Does it just gradually go up by itself? All of this stuff would be very useful, Stardew Valley experts. But anyway, what's this here? I got an earth crystal. What on earth is an earth crystal? <laughs> and oh, I got slime from them. And oh, it is sap I was able to, to get. Uh, glottonous glob with no smell. Uh, an earth crystal. Uh, Gunfer can tell you more about those if you donate them to the museum. Ah, okay. Looks like I need to go and take that to the, the museum. And oh, oh, what's this thing? The rock, the rock's moving. What is that? Is it like a little, little crab? Rock's got like little tentacles or something. What is this thing? Oh, I killed it. And I got a cherry bomb from it. Can I like throw that to attack people? There's just so many new things all at the same time. Generates a small explosion. Stand back. Maybe I could use that to, to take out one of the, the slimes or something. My energy's actually doing okay, but it's pretty late in the, the day as it is. So I should probably get back pretty soon. Uh, but let's go. Let's go on a, a little bit further. I want to get like some good ore. And oh, I think that might be copper. Is that copper ore up there? I wonder if I need to like smelt it or, or process it or do anything to it or whether I just like gather it and then that's going to, to be enough. And oh, is that silver? Maybe a little bit ahead there? Let's go and see if I can grab that. I'm having a bit of trouble with this little slime down here. I need to get a new sword. Maybe maybe if I join the Adventurers Guild, that's how I'm going to get better swords. But this, this really is not cutting it. Pun 100% intended. <laughs> that was a good pun! Right, let's go and, uh, well, let's go and gather up whatever this is. Is my pickaxe good enough? It is! Copper or Okay, so it is the, the ore I got, nothing else. And then, what's this? Can I get rid of this? Oh, this is, oh, this is algae. Let's just eat the algae, shall we? Because, <laughs> it's basically because I need to make room to be able to, to gather up uh, whatever this is as well, because I still don't have my backpack. I got, what is this stuff? It's uh, quartz. Gunfer can tell you more about that if you donate it to the museum. Okay, so it looks like uh, a trip to the, the museum is most definitely going to be in order. But first, let's go and try and deal with these uh, these slimes. It looks like there's a few more earth crystals up at the, the top here as well. This is so cool. This is like, like a proper adventure. I didn't expect it would be so much like this. I'm just really looking forward to, to kind of really diving deep. But I think my next proper big mining trip. One, it'd be great to do it with an extra sword, but also I just need a bigger backpack. I'm just getting all of this stuff. I just don't have room for any of it. That's like the, the big problem at the, the moment. So let's let's go and maybe make my way back to, to bed now because it is getting really, really late. I got so much energy. I just, I'm just full of energy. I, I guess I spent like most of the day just talking to people. I feel like I should just like smash up some of these these rocks on my, my way out of here just to, 
<laughs> just to waste some of all of this energy that I have. And whoa, it is dark. It is really, really dark right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and head home. I'm going to go straight to, to bed. Actually, am I going to get to bed in time? Well, because I think something happens if I'm not in bed by like 2 a.m. or something. And there's actually a decent, a decent bit away where my house is. Go, 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 go. Time goes so fast in this game and it's easy to lose track of time. I got, I, I think I might not even have time to sell this stuff. I might have to just run straight into bed. Am I even going the right way? It just makes it so hard to recognize everything. Okay, here's the, the shop. I know where I am now. I think I'm going to be okay. If it is, to, if 2 a.m. is like the hard limit bedtime, be in bed by here or collapse, I might still be okay. So actually, I don't even really want to sell this stuff anyway, because I'm sure a bunch of it is useful. It's 1 a.m. now. I have one hour, which seems like ages, but that was 10 minutes just gone there. I now have 50 minutes left to get back into bed and I'm going to be okay. I'm going to, to make it and then hopefully tomorrow some of my crops would have uh, have grown but sadly that is going to be the end of this episode here in the next episode i'm gonna hopefully get some more money and maybe get the the backpack i want to explore the mine more i want to go to the, the museum and show my earth crystals and my quartz and all of that stuff uh, but yeah apart from that that's the end of this episode here thank you so much for watching and i will see you all later bye